What's going on, gang? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I hope you're doing well. We're in day five of 21 Days of Worship. I hope you're getting something out of this. I'll be honest with you, I know I am. God is renewing my spirit through this, through your all's comments, and he's kind of even like refocusing um, kind of some things I'm going through personally. Just, just leave it at that. So I hope it's been a blessing to you guys and gals out there as well. What we're doing in these 21 days, if this is your first video, is I released a new four chord worship song book, volume two. It has 21 songs that just use the piano or guitar, G, C, E, e minor, and D. So all 21 songs use those four chords, G, C, E minor, and D. We're walking through each song. We kind of have a devotion and talk about it and, grow, and draw closer to God. Um, let's sing this chorus. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. All that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah, and I know it's not much, I've nothing to fit for a king, except for a heart singing hallelujah. Now, if you don't play piano, first of all, let me say, like this song, for example, just those four chords, piano is way easier than guitar, especially for beginners. So I highly recommend. I'm going to play some guitar in a second also. But I want us to think about those lyrics. Sing hallelujah. And you say, why do you sing hallelujah? The verse that comes to my mind is a pretty popular verse. Romans 5, 8 says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's so important to know both, of those, both things that verse says. One, it's the state we were in, that God moved first. We were sinners. We were separated. We were far off from God. But while we were yet sinners, Christ left the throne of heaven and died on that cross for us. How can we sing hallelujah? How can we sing worship songs and praise him and pray to him, tell others about him, sing his praises all day, every day? It's because while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. One of my goals with this channel, with my other YouTube channel, with, with the things I do, I want to get you guys and gals, young and old, learning more of the Bible, memorizing more scriptures, because it's through God's word that God speaks to us and tells us reminders of his truths. So if you want to be reminded what God has to say about you, why he created you, what your purpose is in life, what you should be doing in life, where your focus should be, we should open up God's word, because that's where he tells it to us. So this verse, this verse is a great one if you haven't memorized it, that you want to memorize. Romans 5, 8. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. But let me uh, grab my guitar here. So, like I said, this song on the verses, it's going to be G. I printed it. A lot of times people say uh, on my song books, <coughs> excuse me, most people just have their, their phone or their device, but you can also just print them out. I've had people print out the books, buying them at Staples, that kind of thing. Um <laughs> So on the verses, it's always G, E minor, C, D. All my words fall short. I've got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? It's G, E minor, D, C. I could sing these songs. As I often do, every song must end. So I'll throw up my hands, praise you again and again. So that I have. For a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. Remember, by the way, I don't, I don't say this stuff on the song books. Any of the song books, you can click on the title and get a tutorial for each of these songs. Like I said, it's lifetime access, that kind of thing. 
But what I want to focus on these 21 days of worship is not so much how to play these songs. I've got tutorials for all the songs on YouTube for free. It's more the meaning behind the songs in changing our heart towards God. That's my goal. That's what all my words fall short. I've got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? I could sing these songs as I often do, but every song must end that you never do. So I'll throw up my hands and praise you again and again, because all I have is a hallelujah. I know it's not much. I have nothing else fit for a king except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me ask you one question we'll leave with. Are you singing hallelujah to Christ with your heart today? Maybe you're going through something, some hard time right now, some stressful a relationship you're in, a financial struggle, um, maybe something with your job, something with, with one of your kids, that kind of thing. And you say, Matt, I just don't feel, my heart is not in a posture or in a position to sing hallelujah. What I would say is there's a Bible verse I love quoting all the time at Romans 12 to it is, this, be not conformed to the patterns of this world, be transformed by renewing your mind. Be transformed by renewing your mind. What are you renewing your mind on? when you? How, if you want to be transformed, what do you renew your mind on? You renew your mind on the gospel. My pastor says all the time, the gospel is not the diving board into Christianity or to a relationship with God. It's the pool itself. If you want to get closer to God, get deeper and deeper and deeper in the gospel. Paul said it's the power of Christ. It's everything. The gospel is what changes your heart. It changes your paradigm. It changes your mindset. It changes your view on the world. It changes your view on yourself. The Bible says you were bought with the price. Like we said, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You got struggles. I understand that. Jesus said that in this life you will have troubles. But even in those troubles, we can sing praises. We can sing hallelujah, as the song says, because we got a Savior who loves us. He has already, I think it's John chapter 1, in my Father's house are many mansions. And I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may be also. He has many mansions prepared for you. He has many mansions prepared for me in heaven one day. This is not our eternal home. Please keep that perspective. This is not, as a believer in Christ, this is not our eternal home. So if you're a teenager or if you're in your 80s or 90s, remember, this is not your eternal home. We're only Life is like a vapor. We're only passing through. And one day it'll all make sense. We don't have all the answers, but praise God, we have a God that does. Let's sing hallelujah to him today and praise him. Thank y'all for stopping by. Be sure to check out my website, AcousticSelection.com. Like I said, if you want the songbook, piano, I have piano courses for beginners. If you want to learn basic praise and worship, that kind of thing. Music's been such a blessing to me to help my praise and worship time. Learning basic chords. You don't have to learn all kinds of fancy stuff. If you just know G, C, E minor, D, same thing. G, C, E minor, D. You can play thousands of songs and lift up the praises like we're supposed to. I love you guys. Please smash that like button so to help get this message. If you want to share, if you'll do me a favor, share these videos on your social media. Let's get as many people as we can praising the Lord. He's so worthy. Like I said, we're on day five. So the next, what's that quick math? Next 16 days, let's praise God and sing his, sing, sing his praises. Sing hallelujah because he alone is worthy. Romans 5, 8, while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Let that sink in. God bless you.